The tilt shift filter in the blur gallery is used to simulate an image taken with a tilt shift lens from a camera. This special effect blur defines the area of sharpness and then fades to a blur at the edges. Tilt shift is most often used to make things look miniature or toy-like, like you can see in the examples on the slide. And so I didn't have any good examples from my stock imagery to use for this exercise, so I pulled this one off of the internet to use. And you can see that in the first image, it just looks like a regular picture of boats. As the tilt shift is applied, it almost makes the bolts in the middle ground look like they're miniature or toy-like instead of real or actual size. I'm going to demonstrate this in Photoshop with a different image and I again I just pulled an image off the internet to demo this with. And I found this image of a train going through the mountains somewhere in uh, Europe, Central Europe somewhere. And I'm going to try to make the train look like it's a miniature train instead of an actual train. To do that we can go to the filter menu and choose the blur gallery and the tilt shift. I can even, can even zoom in on it so you can see that path. So window, oops sorry filter, blur gallery, and then tilt shift. When you select the tilt shift um, option from the blur gallery, the blur tools panel will open and you'll get to make some decisions about your blur. By default, you can see that there's a line across the middle and so everything in the middle ground is appearing to be toy-like and everything towards the edges becomes very blurry. And so it looks like if we take a look at the foreground here, it almost looks like the rocks are like giant rocks in uh, a miniature village or a miniature model train um, setting. You can adjust the settings if you want to, so you can increase the amount of blur. And the more you blur it, the more distinct uh, the middle ground will be from the top and bottom or the foreground and the background. And I don't like to go too blurry on this because I want you to see some texture in the foreground so that the rocks look like they are miniature rocks um, in a scene. You can also increase or decrease the amount of distortion that occurs in the blurred areas um, to your liking.